In our last episode, we took a walk around Levi's property. If you missed that video, it'd probably be good to watch it before you watch this one. In this video, we're going to take a little closer look at his tractor and some of the modifications and attachments he's made for it. I want to thank Paul and Kathy Short for the shout out they gave in their video today. They're just really kind and gracious people and I'm happy to be able to get to know them. Gizmo got the 13, this is the 17. He got yeah. the 13 for just a couple dollars less than what I gave for this 17. There you go. And then there's your wood chipper behind it. Yep. What brand of wood chipper this is this? This is a DR. A DR. So will it take everything that'll fit in this hole here? Yeah. So like four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. It'll handle that nicely, huh? Yeah. I don't like putting my hey. hand down in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I, I made plans up for something that I'd like to have. A tamper, yeah. My grandson is a welder. He said, send me the plans, I'll make it. The hole in here will accept four and a half inches. I think this is four and three quarters. Okay, so it'll almost so it, get to the hole, but you don't yeah, have to worry about it. And I can take this and it will never hit the blade. Yeah, but it'll get close enough in there that you don't but have to it, worry about yeah, it. Yeah, it covers it up so good that if there's something in here and it doesn't want to, because it keeps wanting to bounce, it can only bounce like this far. Okay. It just keeps getting That would be a big help. That would be a big and help. I, keep, I wrote DR and sent them the plans, the drawing of it, Yeah. and told them, you need to have something like this for your yeah. chippers. Because everybody that's got a chipper should have one. Yeah. And this, this hand, this is all made out of aluminum. Okay. I was going to say, it looked so like it would be heavy, but if it's all aluminum, that's great. You know, this is a, oh, this is an Allen wrench cut up. Yeah. You know. That's really nice. So it's. Yeah. But you talk about handy. You got a chipper, you got to have something. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, about all the tractor can handle, you think, or you think it could handle a bigger one? It could handle a bigger one. Uh, I have stopped it, but it's mostly this. The last time I used this, I had, it fed in so fast, I just put on a new blade, so it started. Yeah chopping it in there real mm -hmm. fast it, fit, it fed too fast and I wasn't here feeding it. I just threw it in there and let it go all of a sudden it just starts smoking so it smoked the belt okay which is under here didn't stop the tractor yeah now on the 2210 I think it, it yep. might have stopped it I have stopped that tractor once okay where it just just killed it, it. stopped it yeah killed it hmm but it, it takes quite a bit to do it the one that Keith has, Gizmo. Yeah. That's the one I would love to have. I think he's got a Wallenstein or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember it now. But see, my my wheel has one blade, and I uh -huh. think his has got four. Okay. So that would be that much better. Plus, after I got this, the chute. I don't like this. This is where it comes out. Well, it doesn't take much to. It's too low, isn't it? Yeah. It, so the, I'm either kicking it out of the way, or I gotta fork that I take with me that I just yeah. keep. You keep talking about things not being heavy or not being quick hitch compatible. No, this wouldn't be compatible. It's too narrow. Yeah, and it's. Yeah, you could cut this out enough to. Yeah, I to could. make that fit. But this, but this is, is too this narrow. is for. Uh, I got this one in. For a little garden tractor, probably. Just before I got rid of the 425 and got the 2210. Okay. Because the 425 would have been category zero, right? Yeah. And then the 2210 was category one. And of course, it's got these little sleeves mm -hmm. for category one. It's got the sleeve that goes in the pin for this. Mm -hmm. So this Drama. looks like a cost effective solution for the rear weight ballast. Yep. This is my drawbar. This, I had this on my 2210. Well, I bought this piece. Which kicks this from turning. Yep. Yep. I bought that off eBay, which I've looked up. They don't make them anymore. And then RT, GT, yep. he gave me this. Which and does so the it, job, but it, it it's, not as, way up it's here. not as effective as that is. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it's, it doesn't come out here enough. Mm -hmm. See, if I didn't have that on there, this would do a lot more twisting. Oh, yeah. 
way I got it now. It's, that's pretty much it right there. But uh, if I had the heavy hitch that you could put the weights on and put it on the three point, then it would be on there and never come off, more than likely, unless I needed, you know, for chipper well, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you've put a second toolbox on oh, up yeah. there. I had that on my other track. And you've got your lights on the inside. We've talked about that. Yeah. I have to leave mine on the outside. There just isn't enough room when I turn my seat around. Yeah. But I also, hole. as you saw mine, I tore mine off. So, yeah. but you can see, yeah, this is where you rub against. Oh yeah. We'll, there. There. We'll have to talk about that when we get out and see that spot. And then I put these. Do you know I have one just like this? Mm-hmm. So, do you see it? Mm -hmm. Have you seen me on video? Mm -hmm. You haven't, but you have. Yeah, mm -hmm. I showed him last night. He I saw won. you guys okay. picking potatoes. Did you? You saw us digging potatoes? That's pretty cool. Yeah. How many hours do you have on the tractor now, Levi? 735. 735, and it looks just like new. You got the special get hooked sticker there. Yeah. With your bolt on hooks. Yeah, he sent that. Now you've got the piranha tooth bar. Yep. Uh, you leave it on all the time? Yeah, I put it on and never took it off yet. But them things, the more you use it, seem like the sharper they get. Okay. So when it digs pretty good? Oh yeah. I buried shadow with it. I okay. buried uh the day I got it the next morning and I had I took it out of the box, looked at it, seen how heavy uh -huh. it was and everything. But I didn't put it on because it was late at night. Yeah. You know. And my neighbor up there, he comes down here the next morning and he says, Can your tractor dig a hole? I said, Well yeah. I said, matter of fact, I just got my tooth bar, yeah. Tooth bar. I said, give me about 45 minutes to put it on. I'll be right up there. He had a small donkey that died okay. during the night, and he wanted to bury it. Yeah. And he said, between him and his friend, shoveling up <laughs> wasn't going to happen. So I put that on, and that was my first use, was digging a hole. And he says, he told me afterwards, he says, man, you, he couldn't believe it. He said, you were putting that tractor down in that hole, and I couldn't even see the hood of it. Wow. It was, it was that guy over there. Yeah. So. Right up around that hill, huh? Hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll look at more of Levi's tractor attachments.